Hello guys and welcome and today I'm back doing another video and this time we have episode 3 of Pac-Man. To get right into it, this episode we are going to be making the food that Pac-Man is going to eat throughout the game. So let's just write here, food. Just to let you know now we are going to be using the random module for this episode. So you can import it here right next to import turtle. If you have been enjoying this Pac-Man series so far, please consider hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button. It'll help me out tremendously. And yeah, let's get right into making the food for Pac-Man. So first thing we want to do as everything else is using Python turtle, we want to make a turtle, but this time it's a bit different because, because we want more than one food. We want to make a list of food. To make an empty list, you would just want to use two square brackets. These are two square brackets and then you want to name it foods not food foods right and then we are going to make a for loop before anything here but we're just going to use underscore in range and we're going to make 40 we are going to make now set the food attribute so food equals turtle dot turtle and then we want to do everything else we do for pretty much every turtle so food dot speed Food dot pen up food dot color which we're going to make orange food dot shape which we're going to make a circle you can do this a little square but we're just gonna make it a little circle and then here is something we use in the Pong tutorial. I haven't seen that, go check that out. It's also in Python Turtle. We are going to be using food dot shape size. So we're going to make the turtle here smaller than the Pac-Man. We don't want it the same size as the Pac-Man. To do this, we want to use dot shape size stretch underscore width. So width. We're going to make it 0 0.4. This number can obviously be modified for your preference. So you can fiddle around with those numbers then we want to do stretch len also equal, remember to use the equals equal 0 0.4 close the brackets so this will make it smaller 0 0.4 times smaller than pac-man now to set the positioning we want to use the random module which i stated at the start of the, this episode i'm going to do this how it's done random dot rand int the random integer whoops we want to do here we want to set now here as it says here a and b and then it will give us an integer between those numbers we want to do minus 280 roughly because remember the screen is 600 by 600 so it goes plus 300 this side minus 300 this side so it's going to make it 280 so it's not on the edge of the screen this was for the x and for the y we can just copy and paste this because it's the exactly same thing exact same thing right now you want to set the position food dot set position to x and y so now every time every 40 of these turtles will be set in a different position of um in the brackets of these numbers now we want to make it because we do have a list because we need a list to make all these turtles we want to do foods this is the list food dot append which is a list a uh, list type, I guess, a list attribute, append the food. So all 40 of these foods will be in this list. As it starts, at, it starts as an empty list, but then now it's a full list, I guess. Right now, now we have made all the, um, all the changes here. Just to let you guys know, from the last episode, this was 0 0.1. I've just upped it for testing, but this can be whatever number you want. For me, right now, 0 0.5 is ideal. It wasn't as ideal in the last episode. It's still a bit quick, but you'll see why it'll be a bit more ideal for this episode. So you can go and change these to 0 0.5. Again, these numbers can be optimized for your preference, but it's up to you on that one. So now, let's just run this to see what you what we get. We should have 40 little food modules. Yeah, there we go. Spread out everywhere. As you see, we can't collide with them yet can't collide with them yet because we've not done that in the continuous game loop so let's do that now. now go down here to the main game loop let's actually comment on that main game loop here so we want to do window.update we've done that here is the food we want to make a comment to nowhere for if we look for it pac 
Pac-Man collision. Right. So we want to do four food, another four loop, four food in foods. So this, uh, this means that this list, this uh, if statement that we're about to make, applies for every single food item element in the list. But if we did it just with the if statement, only one of them would be applied, if that makes sense. So we want it to happen to all 40, so four, one, so food one, food two, food three, up to 40. In the list foods which we appended up there will happen, so this will apply to. So we want to do pacman, if the pacman dot distance to the food, this is distance measured in pixels, is less than 10, so 10 pixels apart, we want to make, we can come up here and copy and paste this, because we want to set, we want to set it to here, a new position indent here, whoops, make that indented there, and then we want to do food, the food that it collided with, go to x and y. Now let's see this in action. Here you go guys. Now we collide with the food and remember that that one food changes position. Let's actually make the pack one a bit faster. Seven. We can make it seven. We can make it we can make it one. We can make it whatever you want. Up to you again. Now do this. Should be a bit faster now. Yeah, a tiny bit faster. And now we have all food that the Pac-Man can eat. We won't be setting up the point system in this episode. We'll be doing that in the next episode. But for now, that'll be it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a, please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment for what you would like me to do next. And yeah, this has been Making Food for Pac-Man. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!